morning, question 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go to the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. So if yesterday was Sunday, then today is what? Yesterday was Sunday, then today is Monday. Yesterday is Monday. So if yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, then tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So today is Monday. The month is May. What number? Numbers one and six are next to each other in this order. That makes number 16 or 16th. So today is Monday, May 16th. And the year is 2022. What season are we in? It's still spring. Yep, the season is spring. So then what does the weather look like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows here at school. I see that it's sunny outside today. Yep, it's a sunny day. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. Respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. You need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you're going to take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your lives that need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with your language and your tone of voice. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, and take a deep breath. <sighs> Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. So people aren't gonna want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. But we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. Let's go over our communication rights because we're adults and we have rights. And some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights, which we go over every other week. So on a five-day week like this one, we do three per day. I have the right to be a part of my community. You're a person and you have a right to be a part of the community of your choosing. That could just be your local community or it could be a community of people with similar beliefs or likes. Challenge with this though is that um, for the last couple of years, we've been staying home and staying away from our community to keep ourselves and the people we care about safe and healthy. So you have to find other ways to exercise this right. Maybe that is Zoom calls or video messages or socially distanced gatherings or things like that. So we can still exercise this right, but keep ourselves and the people we care about safe and healthy. I have the right to be heard and answered, even if I can't have what I want. Your person and the information you want matters. You wanting that information matters. Um, and not just information, but the things you want matter. So you have the right to be heard and answered for your request to be heard and to be given an answer. Something you might have to cope with though is that sometimes that answer may be no or not yet. So we have to wait or ask for something different. I have the right to ask for what and who I want and where I want to go. You're a person and you have a right to ask for the things and the people you want to have around you and the places you want to go. Challenge is though that sometimes those people, places, and things aren't available. So we have to wait or ask for something else. 
And lastly, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Some job. How are you doing today? I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last over two years um, because I miss you. Of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school. It's a little sad each day because I miss you. I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you, and I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class, have so much fun, work so hard, and all this time apart will just be a memory. I think about all that, that makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. With that, though, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I believe we're going to read a little bit more of chapter 17 today. And we're not going to do our 10 o'clock Zoom because I have a meeting. So we will have an extra lesson on our YouTube channel. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Monday. And I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.